Hello there. In this short video series, we will demonstrate all about how to use the HTML5 canvas tag. You can learn drawing methods for it, animation methods, and more. The canvas tag is aptly named. It supplies you with a means of drawing things through script and it renders in a browser. Things can be stationary or animated inside of a canvas tag. We can use JavaScript to draw what we want in the canvas, so in this series we will demonstrate some of the drawing methods one can use. We will also demonstrate how to animate things inside of the canvas tag using JavaScript. And here is a rundown of what we will be instructing throughout the series. We're going to create the canvas tag and talk about its attributes. Then we will enable JavaScript drawing methods on that canvas. We'll show how to draw lines through script, rectangles through script, circles, and gradients all through script. Then we're going to draw text characters through script, set the font size and the font family. We'll show how to draw images into the canvas tag through script. We'll show how to animate things inside of the canvas tag using JavaScript. And towards the end, we'll show how to intermingle PHP variables and values into the draw methods. That way you can make everything dynamic or even database driven. Okay, let's begin with a new web page. Mine is a web page called example.html, but yours can be a .php file if you need it to be. Now keep in mind when using any features of HTML5 that some older browsers might not support it. And also keep in mind that HTML5 is not yet released as a working standard. And you must also keep in mind that if you want this page or whatever page you're working on to validate as valid HTML5, you would require the doc type tag right above your HTML tag. Alright, the first thing we'll do is go into the body tag of the page and I'm going to pop in my canvas tag and establish it first. What we're going to do is draw into it using JavaScript. So I gave my canvas tag an ID of canvas1. So through JavaScript that's how I will communicate to this canvas tag using that identifier. Canvas1. The width of my canvas I can make anything I want. I'll make this one 400 by 300 high. So there is the canvas tag along with its attributes. Now let's set up the script tag in the head of the document. So right in the head tag I'm going to pop a line in there for the script tag and then I'm going to go down one line and make sure I close my script tag off. Now in between the script tag is where I can place any JavaScript needed to draw into that canvas tag that I established. Now since when we draw we're going to be using a function called draw so it makes good sense. We'll have a function called draw and when that function is executed that's when the items are actually drawn into our canvas. Does it make good sense? Because that's what we're going to set up. So let's pop in a line in the script tag here and this line reads window.onload equals draw. That means when the window is fully loaded the draw function will execute. And we're going to put that draw function in right here. You can just type in the word function space draw open close parentheses then open the curly brace go down a couple of lines and close off your curly brace and there's your function everything you want to happen inside of the function goes right here okay the first thing that I want to occur in the function is assign our canvas element to a variable so I create a variable called canvas and that's equal to document get element by ID of canvas one so I'm targeting that canvas1 ID of my canvas tag. So that canvas is now in a variable. That canvas tag is essentially in a variable right here, or the identifier for it is anyway. That way I can communicate to that canvas tag through JavaScript more easily just by using the word canvas. That could just be a C. I've seen some people just have that as C just to make life easier for them. But it could get confusing, so I just put the word canvas. Now the next thing we have to do is create the HTML5 context object to enable draw methods. So we use this get context of 2D on our canvas. And that is a variable called CTX. Okay, so now you're ready to use any of the draw methods that you want on that CTX variable. So what would happen is you say CTX dot whatever draw method, and that's where you put the name of the draw method and then you put the methods parameters in between the parentheses and that's how it works. I'm going to show you how it works right now. Your canvas items will be placed by X and Y coordinates. So basically what that means is if I was to draw a rectangle into a canvas tag like that, right now I'm in fireworks 
so I'm just demonstrating. Uh, you see how I would be matched up to that corner? That would be 0 and 0. I would be a 0x and 0y. If I went 10x, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. My object would be there. And if I gave it a position of 20y, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's where my object would land or would be drawn onto the canvas by giving an x position of 10, y position of 20 x position of a hundred and something would be way down here. You see what I'm saying? So this is your x plane and horizontal is your x plane and y the vertical. That's your vertical plane. We'll just remove this line because that's not needed. I was just discussing things. And let's pop in these two lines. You can see these two lines are just code comments that I put in for you and what that does is show you how to set up your parameters for these uh, methods. And what we're doing here is we're creating a rectangle. We're just drawing a rectangle to the canvas, one of the most basic things you can do in the canvas tag. So the first line is we target the CTX object and we set a fill style using RGBA values. So you have red, green, blue, and alpha. That's your opacity. The last parameter is your opacity. The other three are red, green, and blue. That way you can get any color that you need for your drawn item. And the next line is how we actually draw the rectangle into the canvas tag. You can see I put a little code comment in there for you that shows you which parameters you want to target for certain adjustments. Your X coordinate, where it's going to live in its X plane, where it's going to live in the Y plane, the width of your box, and the height of your box. So I can make my box square by going 22. Make sure its width and height is equal, 22, 22. So I'll have a square now instead of a rectangle. It'll be sitting at X position of 36 and a Y position of 10. So now let's press Control S. Make sure we save this. So let's run this in, say, Chrome. Let's try it in Chrome. And you can see it drew my block out to the canvas tag using JavaScript to draw it. And let's also run it in Firefox. Okay, so you can see there's my little green block. And keep in mind some older browsers or browsers that do not support HTML5 fully yet will not render that block. Now what if you wanted two blocks? You just copy that line and change its position to have a different X position and Y position. Or you can have the same X position but just a different Y position. So let's change the Y position to something like 50 on this one and now let's run that in Chrome you see we have two blocks now if you wanted that second one to have a different color you would just put this uh, CTX fill style in between those and let's put yeah let's put this one uh, 200 let's put 200 here make this one zero again save that run it in a browser that supports HTML5 you can see now you have two different color blocks and that's how it works so now that you've seen how to set up and start drawing using JavaScript into the HTML5 canvas tag we'll start to show you all the different things you can do all the different things you can draw ways you can animate and things like that we'll also show you how to intermingle PHP variables into the values of things that you're drawing okay which is a very important aspect for advanced developers who like to do things dynamically.